Hello and welcome to Integrity Car Sales and Rentals. Today I have this gold Toyota Noah 60 series. I'm going to show you how the ramp works in the back. So in this car, we have a really simple and easy to use ramp. All we have to do is use this remote with two buttons by pressing the down button to bring the ramp out. The only thing that we need to do is ensure that the car is on a flat surface from the front of the vehicle all the way to the back where the ramp's gonna come out. So I'm gonna bring the ramp down now. Okay, so as you can see, the ramp is all the way out and the vehicle is lowered. In the older vehicles, we don't have the double beat to confirm, but the computer will do it all itself. So all you have to do is hold the down button throughout the whole process and the computers will stop the system when it's ready. All right, so now we're gonna load Jason into the car. Now, the beauty of this system is we have front belts that work on a ratcheting system, which means they're able to hold the wheelchair as it goes up into the car. This is an excellent safety feature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release the belts, bring them out and hook them onto Jason's chair, and then he's gonna wheel his way up into the car. So now Jason is here, I'm gonna hook these on like so, and I'm gonna press the button so that the orange light is now illuminated. Jason's gonna roll up into the car now. Okay, so in all of our vehicles, we fit these restraints. This is what makes these cars legal for Australian roads. This is what is approved under Australian design rules. So what we do is we put holes in the chassis of the vehicle, we bolt these in, and these are what you use to tighten the wheelchair to the floor of the car to make it secure for transit. Now, the way that we, we do these is we can fit these based on the size of your wheelchair. Every wheelchair is different, so we can fit these based on your measurements, your individual measurements as you're in the chair. So the way these work is we just get the top mount restraint and we lock these onto the bottom mount. All we have to do is push them down like so. The little integrity logo will pop up into the air. We slide to the side and that's it locked into place. We can see the logo has gone down. That's not gonna go anywhere. So if you imagine this is attached to the floor like so, we push the lever here, hook it onto the wheelchair and turn this little knob to tighten it up. Now we put four into the vehicle for each wheelchair. That means you've got one on each corner of the wheelchair, pulling it down onto the chassis of the car. Once those are all linked up and ready to go, we put the seatbelt on. We supply these with each car as well as a set of four of these restraints and the kit as well, it's all included. So the way these work is we've got a little button that I like to call it on this end. We have your standard buckle that you'd be familiar with. That pops open as normal. Each side will have a attachment point like this. In order to attach that and use it for the chair, we just got to put it over the wide part and then click it into the skinny part there, like so. We do that one on each side with the other side. It'll plug in like so. And then we've also got the shoulder belt here, which clips into this part here. Once fully set up, this creates your full shoulder and lap sash belt, which makes you legal under Australian design rules. Okay, so now I'm just gonna bring up the ramp. This is the final part of loading the vehicle up. So once again, super easy to use. We've just got two buttons. This time I'm gonna press the up button and the computer's gonna do the rest. All right, so now that we have the ramp closed, we are good to take off on our journey.